How is it going, losers? Drew Peacock here, back with another subscriber roast, and I ain't holding back in this episode. Today, I'm going to make you cry, I'm going to make your mama cry, and I'm going to make all of your ancestors cry. They're going to be rolling over in their graves. Today, I'm not, I'm not holding back. I don't care. I honestly just don't care. Today, we're flaming you guys up. So if you sent me your car and you're like, mm, I have some pretty tough skin, I, I think I could take it. Think again. We're going in today. If you guys want to be a part of this video, go ahead and send your car to my gmail at drewpeacock.clips at gmail.com don't do it if you're a little baby though don't do it i don't want to hear you cry just don't don't do it anyways let's go ahead and dive right in first car first photo i already know that this guy gets zero bitches because he has a fake carbon fiber overlays a little just gel stickers that you would see on a sixth graders binder in his s550 headhunters what a sick car club bro you know headhunters and all these other like head turners car brands they, they let anyone join you take that shit off your window you honestly look more like a loser with that shit on because your guys's lineup is so weak it devalues your own car. You're posted up next to EcoBoosts and V6 Mustangs. Get out of here. My bad. This one's not headhunters. This is heavy hitters. My statement still stands, though. All you need to do is fucking send these guys a DM and you're probably in. I hate all these little wimpy ass car clubs. It makes you feel like you're a part of something. Just because your dad walked out on you doesn't mean you have to feel like you're a part of everything you do. Stop trying to build a family because your one at home is broken. This dude literally went to a wheel shop and said, what offset do you want? And he just said, yes, this guy doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. What, what, why is your tire sticking out an inch and a half past your goddamn quarter panel? Like what's going on here? I mean, that's how we know this car is fucking slow because there's no rub marks in those tires, which means this bitch don't squat for shit. Also, if you want to know what fake carbon fiber looks like, look no further. Look at this piece of shit right here. This looks like it was fucking 3D printed. You got some wannabe lookalike TE37s. Honestly, after seeing this build, I feel like selling my Mustang, man. I don't want to be a part of any community that this guy's a part of. The A10 just allows you to have an automatic these days and be a little bitch while still saying automatics are faster. We get it. You're unskilled at driving. And by the look of this guy's floor mat, he rubbed one off while sitting in traffic, staring at some homeless people. Nasty. Another Mustang. If you're older than the age of 16, you should not have a two valve Mustang. Like 280 horsepower was impressive back in 2002 when this car was relevant. It's funny, people with these cars will still be saying that muscle cars are better than imports. Bro, you're making less horsepower than imports nowadays. You can't run your mouth off about muscle versus import when you have less horsepower than a modern day EcoBoost out of your V8. Serious question, would you guys rather have an EcoBoost 2020 or a two valve GT? I'm taking the EcoBoost. I'd rather have less cylinders and still beat this piece of shit. The two valve is only good for two things learning how to drive stick and crashing at street takeovers. That's about it. Roast my 330 horsepower 86. Bro, 330 horsepower isn't that much. You just have a slow fucking car. This guy's got every accessory AutoZone sells. Like, holy shit. How many lanyards do you need? I see two in one fucking photo. You could buy all the little trees car air fresheners you want. That ain't covering the smell of your stanky ass from playing Warzone all night. Perfect. Just what I want in my car. Something to clobber my head against when I get fucking T-boned. Honestly, if I drove this car, I'd be praying for the day that that shit happens. If I had to walk outside and see this every day, I'd be wishing I was in a hospital as well. I don't get the trend of bending your license plate up like this. It looks like somebody just tried to steal your shit off since you live in the hood, probably. Bro really sent in a photo trying to flex his fitment when we see his assortment of fucking spacers sitting right next to his cheap Ryobi Impact. It ain't even an Impact, it's just a power drill. Go get some Milwaukee, little kid. I swear, only two groups of people would advertise 330 horsepower, and that's Civic owners and 86 owners. Real cars come with more than 300, kid. And I guarantee underneath all these stickers is a bunch of damage that he's just trying to cover up. Just like he's trying to cover up that he made a big financial fuck up by buying this car. Once again, stock eco boost over this any day. Jesus Christ, the amount of Mustangs this episode is starting to piss me off. Gen 1 Coyote in the most safe looking Mustang I've ever seen. This guy wishes he was the dude in blue so bad. It always amazes me how these cars have been out for 10 plus years and they're still damn near stock underneath the hood. That's how you know this guy gets no bitches. His interior is actually clean. That that definitely means he doesn't have a girlfriend. He keeps it clean in the hopes that that one bimbo at the bar is going to get wet over his 10 year old Mustang. Bro, she ain't going to climb in. She's already slurping up the dude with the Genesis with the LGBTQ headlights. Stop wasting your time. 2001 Celica GT. Bro's really me making me twist my neck to look at this piece of shit. Seriously, can you center your car in any fucking photo? You sent me two of the shittiest photos ever. Clean culture. Some guy's bullying you by slapping that on your car, knowing damn well that shit ain't clean. One look at this car and I can tell that those are fake three-piece wheels. There's not an ounce of doubt in my mind that this bitch is an automatic. Whenever I see one of these, I just picture the dude driving it to look like a 40-year-old Kyle with a monster energy hat. Because that's just about the only person who would think that this shit still looks cool. Oh my god. 2003 Honda. 
XXR 15 inch rims. That's his description, by the way, not mine. Bro really went on Amazon and bought the universal fender flares. Hey, dipshit, how are you going to take off this front bumper? Every time I see some moron put these things on, they don't realize that eventually they'll have to take off that front bumper if they actually work on their car. Then again, we already know that this virgin doesn't by looking at that goddamn anime banner. But if he did, he would be in a really tough situation having to unscrew those goddamn self tappers when he has to remove that piece of shit from bumper to access whatever the hell it is. Like I said, he's not though, so we don't have to worry about that. His plasti dipped grill says it all. Tell me you're in a front end collision without telling me you're in a front end collision. Oh, let's just replace every panel either that or he started spray painting the car black because he thought it would make it look more aggressive at the end of the day it's a 2003 honda shut the fuck up oh my god it gets worse jesus christ is that plasti dip what in the fuck is going on here you can't even afford four xxr rims come on bro you're on the steely up front posing hard for the camera get pikachu and grogu and go sell them on the corner to afford the other xxr rim come on I feel like it's just deteriorating in every fucking photo. Like it's it's getting worse. It's it's absolutely getting worse in every fucking. Don't show me the goddamn single cam. I don't care if you have an AM intake and a fucking oil catch can. It's a single cam. Get out of here. Make up your mind on what color you want your car to be. Is it white and black or blue and black? My eyes are blue and black after looking at this shit because they're sore. Roast my car. Which one? Which fucking college girl car is yours? Which one? Jesus Christ. This dude's really in a gas station taking photo of a Jetta. Bro, if I was in the Tacoma behind him, I'd be laughing my ass off. I'd be like, dude, you're taking a picture of your older sister's car. What are you doing here? Taking up two parking spots at Home Depot. That's a for sure way to get your car keyed, especially in a Jetta. They would definitely just think, oh, it's a woman she can't park little do they know it's little jimmy and his jetta jesus christ is this a ritual for you every time you go fill up after you get your 40 mpg you just take a goddamn photo is it amazing to you that you have to go to a gas station and a goddamn grocery getter what the hell is going on here what wheels does this clown have on his car too some dude is actually putting aftermarket wheels on a fucking stock jetta like look at this thing look at the car Okay, look at the car. Look at the fucking wheels. Look at the ride height. Continental tires. Get out of here. I, I, I'm, I'm done. I am done with this shit. Remember earlier I said Genesis Coupe? Yeah, that's the guy right here. Dude's getting all festive for fucking Christmas. Looks like a goddamn candy cane with the red and white. How can this dude go so try hard to making his car look cool and it still just looks bland as hell? Like block out the wheels and it's just as disappointing as every other Genesis out there on the road. I think they're ESRs as well. We'll have to check it. Thank God somebody did this guy a favor. Jesus Christ. Doesn't look so much like a fresh upgrade anymore if you ask me. Oh great. He made another bad decision. Bought another one. And it's also red and white. Super original. Oh my God. The cringe. Jesus Christ. Dude out here thinking he's doing big things with this street photographer. SoCal Jennies. How have I never seen this fucking monstrosity before? I'm in SoCal. I'm going to make my car look more aggressive by painting the headlights a little bit to give it a little bit of an angry eyebrow look. It did absolutely nothing to this car. This car still looks as wimpy as every other Genesis out there on the road. Please let history repeat itself. Oh, great. Texas. Let's see. You, you, I have high expectations for a Texas car. Already the lack of slicks disappointing disappointing oh my what what is going on here this has to be the most tame texas car i've ever seen looks like he's got an ice tank in the rear maybe a meth tank one or the other okay all right i i will stand corrected i'm i'm enough of a man to stand corrected i won't sit here and lie and say that this thing is super lame or super you know rainbowy and stuff like that i won't say that I'll be more of a man and I will admit when I am wrong. This guy has a pretty badass sleeper. Oh God, this dude's role playing as his girl. When this dude goes to work and the evil boys come over, you hate to see it. This dude's really committed. He's standing out in the rain to take photos of traffic. Good for this guy. Now the businesses around here know if anyone was doing a donut, it's one of these three traffic people right here. Everyday residents and everyday photos. Another Genesis. Is this? No, this isn't the same Genesis as earlier. This was a Genesis that was in my video during the live stream, but that was a ricer nice. This is a roast. Get ready to get cooked, boy. You can tell it's a budget build by the lack of stuff going on here. Everything this guy did to his car is probably less than a hundred bucks. Wrapping your hood, hundred bucks. Wrapping your roof, hundred bucks. Front lip, uh, I don't know, Amazon, very cheap. Wheels, maybe a hundred bucks a pop. Let's keep it real here. Shitty plastic diffuser. If you paid more than a hundred bucks for that, you've got to be ashamed of yourself. And then this fucking shitty eyebrow that looks like it was drawn on from a cartoon character. The thing that this guy calls a ducktail, definitely a hundred bucks. The most expensive thing this guy did to his car is definitely those taillights. And he should get a refund because they look like shit. His taillights kind of look like a penis. Like, look at it. You got a big old head right here and then a little, little shaft. Kind of got some penis vibes going on there. What are you trying to tell us? This is the most disappointing car I think I've seen so far. 
First of all, once again, front end collision, different color panels, what's going on there? Second of all, the slick. I got an erection for a second and then it was quickly shit away, quickly shit away by this. Like, first of all, what kind of engine bay photo is this? I, I could barely see your engine. I don't even see your full engine. And second of all, it's only half of it. Well, where's the rest of the engine bay? I see you have an intake and an intake manifold. Is that it? Do you really need a fucking beadlock for an intake manifold and an intake? I don't care if you're doing digs. You don't need that, you phony. You should have spent that money that you wasted on those fucking beadlocks and the hoosiers. You should have wasted that money on a blower, you fucking mongrel. I hate people that put beadlocks on 450 horsepower. I hate him. He might have nitrous. He might have nitrous. I don't see it, so I'm not counting it, you goddamn moron. Cool bucket seat, bro. Oh, is it a Mustang? Is this a Mustang? God damn it. What this fucking Mustangs, bro? What rainbow car, bro? Oh my God. Once again, tell me your car was in a front end collision without telling me your car was in a front end collision. Jesus Christ, man. Oh, is this actually a Cobra too? I see you have the little Cobra badge, but not a Cobra bumper. Why are you doing this to me? Uh, it's definitely not a Cobra either. Jesus Christ. At least he's got a GT. But like we already stated earlier, EcoBooster this. I mean, in this condition? <laughs> Come on. Eco boost all day. Tell me you fuck your cousin without telling me you fuck your cousin. Hey, she's my third kin. I ain't gonna say nothing. Jesus Christ. Whenever I think I'm down bad, at least I ain't this guy. America. 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 Fuck yeah. Always here to save the motherfucking day, America. Please tell me you guys know where that's from. Please tell me. All right, whatever. I mean, it's a fucking ram, dude. This and this guy might be ramming dudes, you know? Well, let's keep it real here. We don't get many Jeep submissions because I'm not an off-road channel. You're watching the wrong guy. I don't do this. I don't care for this. This doesn't get me bricked up. I don't care that you could take your doors off with a few Allen keys. I don't care that you can get as fucking muddy as a goddamn pig on a farm while driving out in the desert with all your bros in the middle of nowhere. And whatever happens, happens. And we don't have to tell our wives about it. We don't have to tell anyone what happens out there because it's just bro time right yeah no in all seriousness i would build one but um uh, just not now and not for the reasons i just stated <coughs> okay um what is it single cam honda that's what i'm betting betting single cam honda betting single <sighs> i was right but i hate to be right what the fuck is that fucking eyesore right there why do you have a type r badge on an accord <laughs> boosting a single cam honda is about as worthless as buying a single cam Honda. Just don't do it. The B20 is very accessible. You can find them at the junkyard for probably one blow job. Go get one, okay? Suck it up, literally, and go get a B20. Don't waste your time with a single cam. Once again, these guys got more dedication than me. Fucking out there in the rain, taking a photo of a thousand dollar car. Mind blowing. Get the Type R and SI sticker off of this turd now. You are being kicked out of the Honda Club. Get. Yeah. All right, we'll do a couple more. Full bolt on RSA. Oh my God. Stop telling me you like to beat your meat with these goddamn stickers. Yo, I'll take your cats though. This is the most pussy this guy gets right here. <laughs> you set me up for it. You asked for it. Who wrapped your car? What the fuck is this? Oh, $1,000 for a wrap? I could do that. It's easy. No, you can't. You fucking moron. Holy shit. Like, dude, just unwrap it. What brand of wrap did you use? Oh, my God. Don't try to be hard parked looking cool when your fucking bumper is wrinkly than my nutsack. Please cut it out. Peel it off. Just wear the shitty fucking plastic bumper. Once again, tell me your car was in a front end collision without telling me your car was in a front end collision. Everything is mix matched. Everything. <sighs> I'm losing faith in the car scene. There you go. Much better. Just peel it off. It looks 10 times better right here. Look at it. Doesn't it look a lot better, guys? Guys, let's give this guy a round of applause for finally making his car look decent. And I was clapping with my nuts right now. All right, we'll do what? One more? One more? All right, let's do the Z01 right here. Let's do this piece of shit, Z01. When I, heard, when I heard the Z01, I was thinking a sixth gen. Not this. Please, not this. Anything. Oh, my God.
Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. First photo, honestly, I, I thought I was switching sides. Thought I was gonna start being into dudes, but now, okay, this is a little bit better right here. I think I think I, I think I still know what I like because uh, th this still gets me excited. This rerun right here gets me excited. I don't know about the color change. I don't know about looking like the lizard from uh, Amazing Spider-Man, but what? This guy's got the worst taste in raps I've ever seen, man. Bro, I was trying to look like a marble counter. Get out of here. We all know you got some shitty ass fucking wood counter in your broke ass house. Get out of here. I mean, to be fair, I don't have a marble counter either, but I'm not wrapping marble on my car. I ain't doing it. I mean, this color is a little bit better, but I, I mean, coming from that, anything is better. Honestly, like, like no paint would have been better. Just like mix match panels at that point. The sad thing is, is this thing has all of this going for it. You know, I mean, I guess it's just full bolt on camsy 85 and all that shit. Uh, all that. And I mean, it's still a fucking 4,000 pound fucking tank like this. Like, look at this thing. I mean, it's a boat. It's heavy, but it is kind of cute. All right, guys. Anyways, all right, I'm uh, I'm uh, like now I'm fuming. I'm angry. Whenever I do these videos, I get angry. So the rest of my day is not ruined. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Please let me know down below if you guys want to see your cars get flamed up. Let's get this video to 5000 likes. You guys just smash that like button, then send your card to my Gmail, Drew Peacock, the clips at gmail.com, and it should end up in the next one. Once we hit 5000 likes, I'll make another one. So if you guys smash it, I guess I'll have to make another one tomorrow. And that means definitely your cars will be in it. Anyways, subscribe and until next video, peace.